Good morning. Happy Monday morning. 9 a.m. Charlie's already ready to go for a walk, so here we go. I was gonna try to wait till it warmed up just a little bit. Look how beautiful the sky is. It's so beautiful. Lots of planes flying over. I don't think those are, oops, sorry. I don't know, if, I don't think that's planes. Unless they were racing across the sky, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yesterday the cat, the cat, mm -mm, no, the chicken. Mrs. Chicken. Dixie Chick? Dixie Chick? Can I name her Dixie Chick? Dixie. Oh, that's a good name, Dixie. I'll name her Dixie. Dixie Chicks. Hmm. Anyway, Dixie. That's what we're gonna call her. Cause I never did like that other name, Henrietta. That's too long. I came outside yesterday. She was outside. And I brought the bag of mealworms out and I shook the bag, y'all. And when I shook the bag, she was over here across the street and she put her little head up and looked at me and she come flying across the road. I was like, now I know why the chicken crossed the road to get to the millworms. Yeah. Anyway, I shook that bag and man, she took off running. I don't know if there's anything funnier than seeing a chicken run. Cause you know, they ain't got no arms. They're all chest, I don't know. It's just funny. Anyway, but I guess they'd look pretty funny if they did have arms. Any, I don't, why, why are these thoughts in my head? I don't know. Let's go on this side. Anyway, she come flying over there and I got her on the driveway and poured her out some mealworms and she stood there and, and picked and picked and picked and picked. And then she ran back across the road. So she's a good little girl. She came back home. But she was like, my friend gave me my mealworms so I can go home full and happy now. Hi, buddy. Thank you. Can you keep walking? I got one way ahead of me over here. Yeah, you got you got way ahead of me. Somebody told me I needed to shorten my leashes. Why? Why? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing around. Let me alone. Uh, you shorten your leashes, person. Let's discuss the weather for just a moment. It is uh, 48 degrees and the high today is like, I don't know, 65. I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it. The humidity is low. It's awesome. But for April 10th, this is kind of chilly. This is Georgia. We in the deep south. We already supposed to be lows in the mm, maybe high 50s highs in the low 80s again i'm not mad at it i'm just saying the next 10 day forecast is pretty much the same every day hi can you come back here the highs and lows are gonna be in the 40s and low 50s and the highs are gonna be in the 60s and 70s i just I don't understand what is going on with our weather, but that's okay. Okay, the chicken's out. So I'm gonna go out here and see if I can call. I'm sorry, Dixie is out. Her name is Dixie, Dixie Chick. So I'm gonna go out here, take a little break from work and try to entice her. Yes, even though she did poop in my driveway. But that's okay. Oh, it's so windy out here. I'm so sorry. But I'm gonna, oh, where is she? She's probably under that tree. She always stays under that tree. But I'm gonna try to entice her back over here so y'all can see. Back up. Gosh, you're too close to the phone. Get out of my face. Okay, let me turn the camera around. She usually stays up under that tree. So I'm gonna shake the bag and see what happens. Oh, I don't see her under the tree. That lady chases her out of the yard. <laughs> come on! Here she comes. <laughs> come on! Come on! Hi, Miss Dixie. Come on. You want some? I gotta open the bag. Good morning, you ready? Huh? Good morning. There you 
go, baby. You need to stay out of that yard over there. Yeah. Come over here. I'm sure I have plenty of worms. I have plenty of worms for you. Okay, you're welcome. Look how pretty her feathers are. They're iridescent. Dixie's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. Can you talk for me? Are you going to cluck for me? Are you going to sing? I would rather hear you sing. Yeah, because I think they think I'm crazy when I tell them how well you sing. Penny, how can I work in these conditions? It's very hard to see. Yeah, it's very hard to see what's on my screen when you want to sit straight. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just make yourself at home. That's fine. Yeah, I can't really work like this, though. I can't, oh. Okay, hey, wait, wait, where are you going? I can't work like this. Now, if you would stay right there, I could probably work. Because I could see over you. Oh, such a sleepy girl. And she a pretty girl, though. You see that pretty girl? She's a pretty girl. You want to get down now? You want to go outside? Huh? Do you want to go outside? You want to bark at the um, back fence for a while? The fence man didn't come today. I hope he comes tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to put you down now, okay? Because I got to go back to work. But Mommy loves you, okay? Mommy don't have much of a lap. No, Mommy doesn't have much of a lap. Okay, I'm putting you down now, okay? That's how I work when I'm at home. She'll come over. She'll get in my lap. She'll sit for five or ten minutes. And then I have to put her down because... I'm actually at work and she wants to sit straight up and I can't see and work around her. Whereas if she would just lay down in my lap and be still, that'd be fine, but she won't. But that's okay. Charlie is sound asleep. Gracie's outside. Dixie's outside. And I have work to do. So anyway, hmm. back to the chicken running with no arms. I just want to tell y'all just a quick jail story. And when I say this, please know that I am not making fun of this man whatsoever. But we had a man who came to jail, and he used to come to jail all the time. He comes to jail, he has two arms, two legs. Then, after a year or two, I don't know, he comes to jail, he's missing part of an arm. And then he's missing a whole arm. And then he's missing part of another arm. And then he's missing both arms. And then he's missing part of a leg. He was a diabetic and he didn't take care of himself. He lost both arms and both legs. And when I tell you both legs, all the way up to his torso, he lost both legs. Sadly, he ended up passing away because he just didn't take care of himself. But when I tell you that that armless and legless man could f just like any other inmate, I'm not kidding. He could, he could hop up on his hind end and swing his body and the deputies had nothing to grab. How do you hold down a man with no arms and no legs? I mean, you, you can't, you can't handcuff him. <laughs> he was a mess, but we always kept him in the infirmary. He was well taken care of when he was there and he was given his medication while he was there. But of course he would get back out and he would go back to his old ways. And anyway, that's how he ended up losing both arms and both legs. But we took care of him while we had him. So it's really sad. He was strong. He was very strong. He was solid muscle. His torso was solid muscle. His neck was solid muscle. Yeah. Anyway, that's all for now. Hi. So I just wanted to show you these are blackberry bushes. So all of those flowers mean that we're gonna have some blackberries. And they're all, they're wild, and they're all up the side of the road. And I wanted to show people that may not live in this area. Oh, I'm sorry, the wind's blowing so bad. I don't know if it's folklore or an old wives tale. I hope this wind's not too loud. Uh, but we have to have one last cold snap before the black mm, before the blackberries will bloom we had that cold snap and now we're having another cold snap with that's what we call blackberry winter is that last cold snap 
but for some reason it keeps coming. I mean, right now it's 67, but it feels like 62, and as you can tell, it's very windy, but there's more. Now, when I can beat the birds to it, I'll be eating good, yeah. But the thing with um, the blackberries is you can't pull them too early <laughs> because they'll be so sour you can't eat them. You have to wait until they're plump, right? You have to wait till the blackberries are plump or they'll be sour. Yeah, you don't wanna eat no sour blackberries. Now, another thing we have here, and again, I don't know if they grow elsewhere, because I ain't never lived well elsewhere. I've only lived here, but we have something called, oh shoot, now I forgot the name of them. Anyway, it's a fruit on a tree. It's right on the tip of my tongue. It starts with a P, and we had these little trees in the backyard that had these fruit, all, you know, hanging off of the tree. So, I don't know, I was 11 or 12 years old, and, oh, school bus, school bus, school bus, school bus. I'm glad he slowed down for me. Sheesh. I said, what is that fruit hanging off that tree? And she said, well, go get one and try it. And I said, really? Really? So sweet and innocent. And she said, well, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's still, the name is bouncing around in my head, but it won't come out my mouth. So I went out there and I bit into that thing. Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> come on, buddy. He's like, why y'all running for it? Persimmon, it was a persimmon tree. And I bit into that persimmon and my lip stuck to my teeth and like every bit of moisture left my mouth. And it was, it wasn't, I can still taste it. 46 years later, or however long it's been, and I can still taste it. It wasn't a taste, it was just a whole experience. It was just, <sighs> and I don't know that persimmons ever get sweet enough for you to eat, but I learned a lesson that day. Never trust your mother. I'm just kidding. I loved my mother, and she loved doing like, stuff like that to me to make me laugh. I started laughing after I got over it. <laughs> you know what? I never did it again. Nope, didn't have to tell me but twice or three times. Gosh, this wind, I'll be back. Hi, can you look at me? Can you tell me what you just did? Huh, look at me, look at me, look. I don't know why you act like I'm about to beat you. Can you tell me what you just did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you rolled in the dirt, but Mama stopped you pretty quick, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go. You're not allowed to roll. Charlie rolls in the grass and it comes off, but you want to roll in the dirt and the pollen and it don't come off and you end up having to have a bath and it's too cold for you to get a bath. Yeah, so you just keep walking, Missy. Keep walking, Missy, because I'm going to have to go home and wash your head off anyway. Okay, so when we were walking through the shopping center, you know, they like to go look for their girlfriend that works in the salon place in there. It's like a beauty supply place. Anyway, she is working in there, but she was helping someone. So they stood and looked in the window sadly for her to come out and talk to them. And when she didn't, we kept walking. Well, we got on down and every little panel, window panel, that Penny would get to, she would stop and look in. Well, she got to this one and there was a face looking back at her. It was a poster of a woman's head, you know, basically with some sort of hair, something on it. Penny was trying to get her through the window. She barked and cussed and barked and barked and cussed. Yeah. And finally, Kim came outside and I was dying laughing and she said, what is it? And I said, well, Penny's attacking this woman through the window. And she said, what woman? And she come walking down there. She said, Lord. I said, I know either that or she sees her reflection through the window, but I couldn't get my, believe it or not, I couldn't get my phone out fast enough to actually record her doing it. Oh, school bus. Come on, get out of the road. That gummy these school buses are after me today. Oh my gosh. And that's why she stays locked down. But she goes after cars. Yeah, 
I do keep her on a very short leash when we're near the road. She doesn't like cars or buses or people or dogs or things. So, well, he doesn't either, but he's too tired. I just saw that little bitty bird with one of them big old fat mealworms flying to her fern. I, did, I thought that might be too big. I hear dogs barking and I hear yelling. I don't know. I'm not yelling at mine though. That's important. Can you please behave? Thank you, you're a good boy. I uh, heated up the pinto beans from yesterday and I had some of that ham left over and I cut it up in little bite-sized pieces and I cooked it in with the pinto beans. I just heated it up on the stove with the ham in it. And then I added a big old spoonful of that yummy chow chow that I got. That's got all kinds of veggies in it, all kinds. It's got like cauliflower and kidney beans and green beans and corn. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. It's yummy, it's delicious. Put that in it and it made me a little pan full of cornbread. They're working in the backyard here behind me. I don't know what's going on, but I think they're trying to get rid of some of this ivy, which is awesome. Yeah, I can't use that excuse anymore that they got to fix their side first because now they're fixing their side, so. <laughs> Oopsie. Ch hey, Penny, stop. Come on, Charlie. Come on. Lord, them dogs will bark forever. Anyway, that was a very delicious dinner. I mean, is there a whole pile of leaves in my back? Did somebody just dump a whole pile of leaves in my backyard? No, I think it's on the other side of the fence. I was about to be mad if all that was on my side of the fence. Anyway, the fence man came by and got his deposit. I told you, oh yeah, it's on the other side of the fence. You see all that piled up right there? I couldn't tell which side of the fence it was on. Anyway, I told y'all it's my neighbor's son's wife's sister's husband. So there's kind of a family connection, you know? <laughs> Anyway, he came by and got the deposit and said he's going to be working several days on cutting the post. And also, what is this? That's very odd looking. It looked like a... That's weird. Isn't that weird? It's like a mint green on one side. It's a leaf. And then on the other side, I don't understand. It's pretty. I don't understand how it got this way. kind of matches my shirt. That's weird. Anyway, he's gonna be cutting the post for several days and he's put his name in the hat on the list to rent an auger and they were out. So he said when he gets his, when he's available to get the auger, he'll be back to start putting in the post. I said, you don't wanna dig them all by hand? He was like, no. I said, I don't blame you because that's a lot of post. I mean, Lester Morrow would do it but he also uses an auger on sometimes. Hey, come on in. Come on, let's go. <laughs> anyway, that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed flying Tracy Tries Airline. I hope you've had a great day. I hope all the things, okay? I love you. Jesus loves you. Hope he's coming back soon. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries. Okay, love you, mean it. Okay, bye.